Hello, it's Tim Estradal, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we have some exciting spy photos today of the interior of the upcoming 2020 Ram Heavy Duty Trucks. Now, we're going to combine that in this video with the exterior and what we know about the powertrains to give you everything we know today about this truck coming up that will be unveiled next month in Detroit. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the exterior first. We'll do exterior, interior, then powertrain. So we know from looking at the photos we've seen already on the exterior that there's going to be some big changes with the 2020 Ram Heavy Duty. The biggest change is going to be that the grille is going to be changed. So the grille is going to more mirror what we've seen from the 1500. So the grille is going to get crosshair grille is going to be gone. Each trim level will have its own styling on the front end. We're going to have new lights and we'll have a little bit more styling on the body. It's not going to be big changes. It's basically a lot of carryover. The cabin itself is actually a carryover cabin from prior generations of the heavy duty. And that's basically because it is big enough for most consumers. There's not much they're going to do um, to make that even bigger as they did with their 1500. The heavy duties have always been a kind of a bigger truck anyway. So they're, the cabin's not going to change. And you can see the sheet metal is not really going to change. The Ram box is still there. The same uh, openings for the tires are still there. It's basically the front end. You're going to see the tail, the tailgate's a little, eh, about the same as what it's been. There has not a lot of changes there as well. What you're going to see, though, is that everywhere you're going to see metal that opens. So uh, Chevy's got a great term for this. Anything that swings, so doors, hoods, the Ram box, the tailgates, are probably going to drop some weight. They'll probably be more aluminum used throughout, more high-strain steel. And so this truck's going to lose weight, but structurally and design-wise, it's going to look about the same than what you're seeing today. Um, the interior is where we haven't seen very phony photos yet, and we have some new spy photos showing the interior. And again, it's not really a big surprise here. What you're going to see is you can see the same 1500 styling applied to heavy duties. That means anything that was done in Laramie Longhorn in the 1500 will apply to 2500. So you're going to see the 8.4-inch screen is going to be standard. That's going to be your stock screen. You can see the toggles down below um, in that center stack. And you're going to see that in other spy photos I have that are supposed to be the new pickup that are really spy photos, um, uh, is the 12 inch screen making its introduction. Uh, this is almost like a no brainer. You, you would think that if it's successful in 1500 to use in, in the heavy duty, so that 12 inch screen should be coming to all heavy duties. And so as you can see from these photos, the same premium materials you'll find in the vehicles, you're going to see the same. Um, styling, the same stitching um, throughout the material design. One thing you will notice on these spy photos is we have a console shifter. Um, this is interesting, not console, excuse me, a uh, column shifter, I meant to say. It's a column shifter rather than the dial. Um, it's kind of interesting that this the heavy duties have that versus the 1500. Um, but it is a difference. You can see that in the photos and you can see in the spy photos as well, the 12 inch screen. So again, that's going to be your interior. I would anticipate that the storage, um, they've built in the 1500 will carry over the storage compartments, the slide and recline rear seats will probably carry over. And I'm sure you're going to be able to find that in heated and cooled rear seats as well. And so again, what worked in the 1500 will work in the 2500 and 3500. Now powertrains, getting into powertrains a little bit, this is going to be an interesting discussion going on. Um, with powertrains. Everything that I'm reading so far on the rumor mill online is that everything is going to be carried over. So that there's going to be the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, 383 horsepower, that's going to be carried over. The 6.4 liter Hemi V8, 410 horsepower is going to be carried over. And the Cummins, 6.7 liter inline six Cummins, it's, it has three different tunes at the end of this, uh, this Cummins, but the biggest tune, the 385 horsepower, 9, 930 foot pounds of torque, that'll be carried over as well. Now, the 5.7 and 6.4 liter Hemis are paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. The Cummins Turbo, you can do a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. What's interesting about that discussion is that you, you would expect that the diesel will get additional bump and power, and I would think that'd be from a transmission standpoint or from an engine tuning standpoint to compete better with the Ford F-350 and Chevy Silverado 3500. Um, Ram loves to have best-in-class numbers, and I would anticipate that's going to happen again. However, I wonder in the 5.7 liter and 6.4 liter Hemis, why we're not seeing additional gearing. Usually when a new truck comes out, uh, we're seeing eight gears, nine gears, 10 speed transmissions. I mean, those, those are very common these days in the marketplace. We're not seeing that in the 5.7 and 6.4. Again, you use these trucks a lot for towing and hauling, so you don't need those additional top end speeds. But Ram could do something like Ford does, whereas they give it additional speeds and then they limit it in different driving modes. So like the Raptor comes with a 10 speed transmission, but when you're in the Baja mode, it limits it to six speeds. And so I think there's something here to be done as well. It's kind of interesting. 
that there's no mention of this, any of the spy photos or any of the articles I'm reading, but I would anticipate Ram doing something. It seems like a no brainer to me. So that's what we know today on the 2020 Ram Heavy Duties. Again, these trucks will be unveiled next month at the North American International Auto Show. That's the NIA show. It's going to happen in Detroit, January 27th to the 19th. The 20, the, excuse me, the, the January 14th is the press days. And I'm, I'm going to grab you the press conference information. Um, that press conference day, yes, is January 14th. And the press conference preview schedule means that the conference for the Ram Heavy Duties is going to follow Ford's Heavy Duty announcement. And that's going to be Monday, January 14th at 9.10 a.m. to 9.35 a.m. So it's a 25-minute press conference. I will be live in Detroit for that press conference, and I will be live streaming from the, con the Kobo as I can. Sometimes it's a little difficult in there. But I'll have a video for you right away from when that Ram gets released and the Ford gets released. You can also find more information about Ford on this channel. So hit subscribe if you want to follow more or less information. There's a Ford uh, Super Duty What to Expect video on this channel. And there's a Chevy and GMC What to Expect and Spy Photos on this channel as well. I also have stories on pickuptrucktalk.com. And you can follow me on social media. It's uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all pickup truck talk. You can just... And I'll see you down the road.